The Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge is a six-lane vehicular bridge built over the Trinity River in Dallas. The monumental bridge is being constructed to seamlessly connect Singleton Boulevard in West Dallas across the Trinity River to Woodall Rogers. The bridge is in fact part of a larger urban development plan undertaken by the municipality aimed to both requalify the suburb located next to the downtown of the city and to improve the condition of the flooding area between the leaves. The bridge was designed by the architect Santiago Calatrava from Valencia in Spain and is already an icon for the city of Dallas for its unique structure characterized by a monumental 137 meter high center arch pylon. The architect's design has been carefully drawn to enable the use of a light, efficient deck system with a central pylon supporting the deck via cable stays. The array of cables distributes the forces of the pylon as the symmetry of the permanent loads help in maintaining a slender and balanced arch. The arch supports the deck both by acting as a prop at the middle span and via the 29 couple of stays connected to the center line of the bridge. The total bridge span is approximately 360 meters with an effective span between support of 180 meters. The total weight of the steel structure is approximately 5,700 tons. The original cable arrangement with shorter higher cables and longer lower cables create a cable intertwine which produces an interesting effect of generating the line of a parabola on the side of the pillars. This in turn creates different illusion of movement at different angles. The structural design of the structures have been carried out using finite element analysis models FEM. Owing to the complexity of the structural details and their impact on the stiffness of the structure, each element such as nodal joints, stiffness, manholes, etc. has been directly designed within the global model itself by inputting specific plate, beams and links element. The circular shape of the arch pylon is a distinctive feature of this project both for its height and for its cross section that decreases from the bottom to the top varying diameter and thickness. This makes the arch undoubtedly the most complex element to be fabricated. The arch pylon was in fact fabricated with a specific technique which involved for each segment the cutting and bending under the press machine of steel plate in four truncated cone plates. Each single arch element was assembled using its own internal diaphragm as a template and was held in geometry via temporary bracing. Once the fabrication of the various arch segments was completed, the entire arch was pre-assembled in the workshop using temporary internal bolted joints. The bridge deck is made of a central spine composed by 30 central pentagonal boss girder segments. To these primary center structures, about 3.4 meter high and about 4.2 meter wide, the lateral section of the deck made by the floor beams and the exterior girders is bolted to make up the 36 meter total width of the deck. The whole production of the steel bridge was done in the Cimolai workshops in Italy and then transported to the job site in Dallas. The arch was erected in segments up to 137 meter over the two concrete columns rising from the bed of the river. The arch erection activities and sequence involved. Assembling and welding on the ground of the arch segment, lifting of the first arch segment in its final position, installation of six provisional cables, lifting of the remaining arch segment in their final position, welding at highs of the arch transversal joints between the arch segments, completing of the arch painting activities and dismantling of the platform and the provisional cables. The welding activities on the external transversal arch joints were performed by means of a special design fabricated installed movable platform that gave access to the whole external height of the arch. The deck erection activities and sequence included assembly and positioning in place of the 14 provisional towers, assembling and welding on the ground on the central box segments, assembling and welding on the ground of the central beam and the two external beams, lifting of the box segments, welding of the adjacent post segments and lifting, bolting and welding on the secondary attachment structures. Once the erection of the steel structures was completed, the next phase was to cast in place the concrete slabs. At the completion of the concrete decks, the 29 couple of stay cables were installed. The total weight of the stay cable is 320 tons and the maximum length of the cable is approximately 220 meter. The cable was stressed to reach the design load following a specified procedure. At completion of the stake cable stressing procedure, the 14 provisional towers were dismantled and removed 